morning, everyone. I got a fantastic video from Red Hood. Red Hood, if you're listening, this video is a banger. And anyone that wants to know, fucking love this video. This is DSP in the Birthday Royale. I'm. This was so good. Please forgive me. Roll it. Thursday night, no, no second stream. Uh, actually, it's Cat's birthday, and we're going to be going out to get uh, dinner together and celebrate. So no stream Thursday night. And I know. Okay. Been asking, Good so for you, Dark. For Spider Man, the answer is no because it's Cat's birthday. So no, we're going to be busy. Proxy Fo asked, "Are we going to get Cat a birthday cake?" Midnight release of Spider Man. I remember that I got off work early. I didn't know I was going to have the money for it, but I did. I had the money for Spider Man. Bought it that night. Took it home, played it for the for the Twitch audience. It was fantastic. One of the best decisions to do. Not really a great midnight release game, but a lot of fun. But he's not going to do it for his for his wife's birthday. He's such a sweetie. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, we talked about it. Like, if we get her a giant cake, we probably wouldn't eat it between the two of us. We talked about it. we might. What we're probably going to do is go out to dinner and on the way home. Okay. Up at like uh like a Fred Meyer bakery or a Safeway bakery and see what they've got and see if there's anything good, maybe get something. We'll see. God. When you say Fred Meyer bakery, I mean, okay, a supermarket or as Fred Meyer is a hypermarket, as we learn. I'm sure their their bakery is very good, but damn it, man. A genuine streamer asks, where am I taking Kat tomorrow for her birthday? The arcade? No, we're just going out to dinner somewhere. We're not even sure where yet. We're going out to dinner somewhere. We don't know yet. We're just going to kind of decide on the fly. We're going to decide on the fly. All right. That's that's great, Dark. I'm so glad you're going to decide on the fly that this is your wife's birthday and you're going to decide things literally on the fly. No second stream tonight. I know normally there would be a second stream on Thursdays. However, um... I am going, I'm not doing one tonight because today is Kat's birthday. That now you do, when you met her, you did streams on her birthday. At least Kat gets a whole day to herself now. <laughs> Instead of a half one where literally you do a day stream and then you wait around, which is okay, whatever. That's right. So happy birthday to my lovely cat. Uh, we'll be going out tonight to have a nice dinner together. And maybe even get a birthday cake or something. We're going to see. So we're spending time tonight to sell. And maybe get a birthday cake. Do you not give a fuck about this woman that you just met? This is from 2018 to 2021. Do you not give a fuck about her? Holy shit. Celebrates her first time she's been here uh, since we've been together for her birthday. And it's going to be really special to be able to celebrate that together. So I am not streaming tonight. Okay, guys? I love that. Yeah. <laughs> I love how he just streams tonight. And he's like, yeah, cat. Uh, yeah, how'd it go, DSP? Oh, uh, let's see here. He says. Oh, he says, he says what show or movie did you. Do you God. This layout was so much better. I wish someone would take this layout. I mean, take this and put it in Illustrator and even put it in Photoshop, you know, PNG and, and make that layer and just make it nicer for him so he can just do that. Because I'm sure it was someone that, that found like a, a static layer, like an old one, and just put it together like that. Because he doesn't deserve this layout. He really doesn't. I know it's Spider-Man is for this game and all that stuff. But damn, what he's using now and what that is, is light years ahead of what he's doing. Because now this makes sense. I mean, of course, the border at the bottom, like here, kind of adjacents that. But... If he had a green screen or whatever that would uh 
like negate that, but it it is what it is. But it's it looks nice. It looks like a professional stream. You and Cat unwind with on your on her birthday, and then I bake her a cake like she did with me. Um, we actually, of all things, we watch this new show on Amazon Prime. It's called Dojo Pro. It's a pro wrestling show where like these these amateur wrestlers duke it out in like ma like matches with only like 30, 40 people in the room. And I guess they, they, it's like a series. Dojo Pro. Tournament. It's staged, obviously, but it's inter an interesting show. Check it out. Chris Harris. It's staged, obviously. <laughs> Do you think wrestling's real, Dark Side Phil? <laughs> Is it still real to you, damn it? <laughs> uh, from TNA is actually on the show, which is kind of weird. So we watched some of that, and no, we got her a cake. We got her an ice cream cake for her birthday from, like, the local uh, supermarket. The local... We got her an ice cream cake from the local supermarket. Not even the Safeway or the Fred Meyer. We just got her... We just went to some bullshit supermarket and got her a cake. The fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> She chose to watch that, by the way. I didn't choose to watch it. She wanted to watch that. She chose to watch it. Not me. How dare you? I love pro wrestling. Champions time. Together, so. Cat's birthday, 2018. Dinner at a restaurant. Cake, home, not homemade. Wrestling TV show, her choice. <laughs> Sounds great. 2019. Um, Friday, I am off. This Friday, I am not going to be live streaming because it is awesome. She's been upgraded to Friday off. Birthday, um, with her, spending a nice day with together with her. Yeah. No streams. Yes, we do have. Yes. Yeah. Shout out to the Daki. Is that simple? Maybe after the fact, I will. But I'm not he just wore this shirt. No wonder I'm having flashbacks because he just wore this this shirt that looks like a fucking crater. God, get new shirts. God, go to go to go somewhere. Go to a men's warehouse. Get some polos. Get something. And if someone's gonna go, you wear a white shirt every day. I also fine. I'll get more shirts. I'm not talking about anything. Just just in general. More white ones. I'm kidding. I'll get other ones. As you know. Excuse me, when it comes to my family, people try to fuck with me all the time. And so announcing plans that we have and stuff is probably a terrible idea. Um, so there you go. Vent Boxer. Vent Boxer is asking what I'm doing tomorrow for, for Kat's birthday. And the answer I have to that is I can't tell you. It's that simple. If I give you even an inkling of what we were doing tomorrow, more than likely assholes would try to ruin it for us. So... Rest assured, we're we're not doing anything expensive because we can't because I have no fucking money. What we're doing is something more very much. I can't because I have no fucking money. It went to WWE Champions time. Holy shit! Even in 2018, you're just spending on that thing. Down to earth and something that we wanted to do, and we'll be doing that during the day, and that's that. Okay. Sorry, I can't. Give I mean, addicts are addicts, so I'm not gonna say you couldn't save or not do that. Addicts are on spin. It's just what they do. Any more details, but assholes would probably try to ruin it. Anyway, so I want to spend the assholes are going to probably ruin it. How about you stop? How about be a man and actually do things that you want to do instead of worrying about the assholes? Nah. Stay with my wife tomorrow because last year I could not spend the whole day on her birthday with her. So this this year I want to spend the day with her and have some fun, even though we have no money to really do anything. How do you have no money to do anything? You're a fucking Let's Play streamer. Let's see here. Tips goal, $53. Subs is six ten. That's a little lower. You make about $53 a day. Maybe a little higher than that. Your tips total was about 100 bucks. How do you not have money? You probably, even if it's half of that a day, that's still a lot of money. And you're like, oh, we don't have money. You are... Even if it wasn't a gambling addiction that we found out, a booze addiction, and all this shit, you, it really is just a dark hole of of madness. There, isn't it dark? Um, 
we did make a couple plans that it looks like we can do even though we have no money uh still some nice things that we want to do together and we already luckily we'd already bought a birthday cake earlier this week so we're gonna have some cake and everything you know it's gonna be a nice day together say that again earlier this week some nice things that we want to do together and we already luckily we'd already bought a birthday cake earlier this week luckily we already bought a birthday cake earlier this week oh man your footage is just yeah Every time I look at it, it just looks ah. Professional streamer, everyone. His footage looks like this. So we're going to have some cake and everything. You know, it's going to be a nice day together. Um, so, all right. Let's show pics of Kat's cake you mean for her birthday. Maybe. We, got her, we did get her a cake uh, the other day. And it was in the freezer all week, and we just were thawing it out now because when she gets home from work tonight at midnight. We just got her cake in the freezer, and we're thawing it out now. Holy shit. That cake's going to have freezer burn. Are you fucked? Oh, my God. Oh, ew. I fucking hate you. You fucking bad man. You put the cake in the freezer. You're in the government's master computer for the rest of your life. Let's celebrate. Ta-da! Um, looks kind of old. Yeah, well, I baked it way back when you took the test the first time. You baked this? Baked, bought. Let's not ruin the moment with a lot of technical mumbo-jumbo. When it's her birthday, we want to have a piece of cake together. We thought that would be really special. Yeah, I'm sure it's going to be real special. So we're going to do that tonight. Yeah, how'd it go, DSP, you um, bastard? It's just very awful for me right now. Um, You know, it sucks. And, uh -oh. I, you know, we're going to talk a little bit because yesterday uh -oh. went off. And I'm sure today people are going to ask me, what did you do yesterday and everything? What and did you do yesterday? I didn't have any money. No, no money. I celebrate my wife's birthday. My God, you're a black hole of fucking money. Even then, were you spending on booze and all this shit back then? Maybe. Uh, the Magic 8 Ball says probably yes. Went out and had, we ate Sonic. I'm not even kidding. This is what we ate yesterday, Sonic. Uh, because we really couldn't afford anything. You, w you took your wife to Sonic for her birthday. Sonic drive through Eat something. You take that first bite from yeah. being on, you know. It's like so. a first date. I mean, you can tell by the first date if you like somebody. Ooh. TMI. I don't know how that ties into a chicken sandwich, but hey, I got you. <laughs> the chicken slinger. And uh, went grocery shopping and just ran errands and stuff. We went okay. To pet stores and looked at look at cute pets and animals. And we went to cute pets and animals. This is probably when they were shopping around for Jasper Kitty. You know, probably it's like, Phil, let's get a website. You know, just basically did normal stuff that we would do on a day out because we didn't have any money to do anything special for her birthday. I really, really Nothing didn't. special for her birthday. You know, that's just my reality right now. Uh, that's your reality right now. Pathetic. Three stuff for 16 months. It says, Phil, Philly boy, how are you? I know this is late, but how was the birthday of Kat? Uh, just joined in. What is the story? How is the game thus far? Nice head. Um... Kat and I had a good day out on our birthday. We didn't have a lot of money to do anything. You know, I, I have We didn't have money to do anything as you sit in the fucking dark. God, your setup is fucking awful. I had any money for weeks. So I didn't have any money for weeks, but I have $58, and the top tip is from Gamer Stevie J. So... We basically just did some fun stuff we wanted to do, but I'm not going to go into detail about it. Um, God, this footage is rough. Not you. Not you. Not you, Red Hood. I know you working with what you are, what you have, but holy shit, this does not look good on my TV. That wasn't expensive. And like I told you guys, what did we eat? We ate Sonic that day. We went out and had Sonic burgers. We went out and got Sonic burgers. Fuck off. Because there was a Sonic nearby. That opened in the last year, and we neither of us had had it. I only had it a couple times when I lived in Connecticut ever, and she had never had Sonic, and we loved the I Sonic. I only had it a few times when I live in Connecticut. Man, God. When we saw you eat that Sonic food, it looked vile. 
Sonic Feel version the blood that we had. So outside of that, that was about it. Nothing special because I had no money. It is depressing. Yeah, because it spends money like a like it's going out of style. All right, Cat's birthday 2019. Sonic drive through ran errands, visited a pet store for Jasper Kitty. Freezer cake. Damn, I agree. Poor cat, Red Hood. Jesus. If only there was some kind of miracle funding. Yeah, what miracle funding is going to happen? For my wife's birthday, uh, my parents sent her some money and said, we'd like you to buy yourself some What a dipshit. Why does your parents have to send your wife money? What a dipshit. Not not the hubby who makes 120k which now we know. We know now what you do with that money. Get help. Something nice with this for your birthday. You know, please don't spend it on on bills and taxes. We actually want you to have something nice for your birthday, so please spend it on something nice. So my wife thought about it and said, well, one of the things that she that's disappointing is uh, I've been so busy with work that ha that she hasn't had a chance to like go to the gym or anything. So she looked around on Amazon, ended up finding uh, a, an exercise d vehicle device. I forget exactly. Now, I wasn't stiffing my fingers. I was stiffing my face. Exactly what it's called. Actually, you know what? So I've been calling it an exercise bike this whole time and I was wrong. See, I don't know anything about this shit. So she ended up finding one that was like highly rated, but wasn't like super expensive, right? I think it was. I, I, I want. Man, Cat just seems like she's been falling back and back of nothing lately. Like this story he told recently. We'll get to it. But okay, he bought her an exercise bike. Dipshit, don't know dipshit about anything. I want to say, I'm just guessing. It was probably around like 300 bucks. That's what I'm guessing, okay? So, you know, my parents had said, yes, we're gonna get you something nice. So, you know, it was covered by them. We're like, okay, you know, let's order this thing from Amazon. Amazon's pretty good about this stuff. So let's see what happens, okay? So I built this thing. And by the way, it was really, really complicated. And it took me, I'd say- It was really, really complicated. Yeah, it's complicated because you don't know anything. Probably about three hours to build this fucking thing one night. Oh, God, you do have ADHD or something. You need Adderall because everything you do is like, oh, it took three hours. It took three. Everything's not done in fucking instantaneously. Dumbass. It takes hours sometimes. So we get it built and my wife goes to use it. But she probably rode this thing for about 15 minutes. My wife rode this thing. She gets in her in her fucking workout clothes. and she's. I bet he sabotaged it just because he's an asshole. The thing locks up. Completely locks up. You completely lock up. <laughs> Great job, it just, dipshit. It's like grinding inside of it. And it's making it. Cat should have built it herself instead of, instead of this stupid idiot. Because he didn't want to do it. And he didn't move it. What are instructions? Fuck instructions. Stuttering. You're I'm stuttering. Oh my God, what the fuck is going on? I like what is happening here. So all that work to build this thing, and the thing breaks within like 15 minutes of use. Yeah, I mean, it's you that's building it, and you're a moron. Okay. <clears throat> delightful, right? You're delightful. Now, tonight I'm not doing a late stream, all right? It's actually my wife's birthday, and originally we had actually planned to have a nice night out together. We were gonna originally go out and go out to dinner and maybe do, do something special. Ah, uh, here we go. Obviously that's all off the table now, you know? Uh -oh. It's all off the fucking table. Uh-oh. Um, so I'm just gonna spend a nice night together with her here at home. 
And we said tonight we'll just relax together. And we'll I do believe this is at the height of the coronavirus. This is September, right? Her birthday's in like September, August. It's September 7th. I do believe that is Kat's birthday. So she could have, they could have went out. They could have went to Sherry's Cafe. And we'll probably like watch. We've been watching someone's playthrough of Ghost of Tsushima on YouTube. So we'll We've been watching someone's playthrough of Ghost of Tsushima. You pathetic. L <laughs> watching someone else play a video game. <laughs> Before people go like, it's just odd to see those two watching someone else. That just seems. Because he seems. an. I mean, who'd you watch? Someone 100 views? And boy, he must have forced you to do it because you hate everyone. We'll probably just stay together for her birthday and, and watch uh, Ghost of Tsushima together or something, you know. So that that's it. But no late street. Plus, let's be honest here. Number one, it's more important to spend time with my wife on her birthday, right? Than yes, it is very important to spend time with your wife on your birthday. Absolutely. Let's see if this one's better. Rush to another stream. And number two... This is good because I'll do one major stream today. One major stream today. All right. Kat, we're back to downgrading Cat to one to the day stream, and then she gets the night. All right. Right, and then I'll be able to get more rest, and we'll see how my ear's feeling at the end of it. I have no idea you know, how I'm going to, what condition I'm going to be in after this stream. I wonder when the door dashing started. Um, But this is good. It's instead of overdoing it, coming back and overdoing it right away, instead I'll be basically being patient taking my time you know easing myself back into it okay <clears throat> so there you go nothing could do his ear was really affected i know i have the coronavirus too i guess still the height of it. Yoshino Lover resubscribed for 16 months in a row, 23 months total. When the stream started, he said, I hope you're feeling better. Excited to see you play Tony Hawk, and I hope Kat had a good birthday. She did. In fact, my wife said last night, one of the best birthdays she's had in a long time. One of the best birthdays she had in a long time. All right. Dark learned a lot. Let's see what he learned. See? You can't teach an old, an old dog new tricks. And you know, sometimes it doesn't really matter. It doesn't, sometimes it just doesn't really matter. <laughs> Does it really matter? You're having a good time. <laughs> Originally we had planned. <laughs> I know, I know how to have a good time, Dark. But I, let's see what happens. She took today, yesterday off from work to have her birthday at home was that we were going to go out and do so, have a nice night. We were going to go to dinner and maybe do some shopping or whatever. We're going to go to dinner, do some shopping. We were going to supposed to have a nice birthday night for her. And because I'm sick, that didn't happen at all. I basically ruined it by getting sick. I basically ruined it by getting sick. And this motherfucker didn't go, let's go out, honey. I'm sick, but I'll, I'll, I'll tank it for you. Not this sack of shit. But instead, we had a stay home, a stay home night together. We watched some fun stuff together. You know, we had a good time. We watched some fun stuff together instead of watching nature documentaries. Like, the fuck does that mean? We watch fun stuff together. Do you watch boring stuff? <laughs> I mean, she was watching that Ghost of my Let's Play, so you fucking don't know. We made the best of what we could do at home. And like I said, she actually told me that it was one of her better birthdays. So I actually felt good about that. Honey, this was one of the better birthdays I had. Bullshit. <laughs> Honey, I really love our time together that we watched movies and just sat there while you played WWE Champions. All right. And rest assured, yes, she got a birthday present and all that. And it's none of anyone's business what she got know that if I told you guys any further details, all that would happen is that these negative shitheads would turn it into something nasty because they're pieces of human garbage. So I'm not going to tell any more in uh, information about that. I'm just going to say we had a very good birthday together there. She really had a good We had a really good birthday together. All right. <clears throat> okay. So let's recap. Cat's birthday. 
chill, relaxing night at home. All right. Coronavirus. Watch YouTube Let's Plays. All right. Cake. <laughs> Question mark. Yeah, what's the present this time, Dark? Yeah, how could you afford it with all those WWE Champions polls? Day. Got some money from my parents. Oh, for fuck's sake. She didn't even get money from his parents this year. Someone should ask him, did Cat get, some, get any money from your parents this year? Someone should ask it. I know someone's listening. I know. We're giving money to an addict, but the world needs to know, did Dark's parents send Cat happy birthday, here's 50 bucks, or whatever. Money to buy a carpet shampooer for the house. A carpet shampooer? Are you fucking... I know the meme is... They buy her uh, house products and stuff so she can leave the house because female. Are you fucked in the head? <laughs> like, seriously, I would take that carpet shampoo and beat the shit out of you. <laughs> it's just saying, it's like, hi, what do you want for your birthday? A carpet shampoo, and it was only used once. I'm sure of it. And we not only deep cleaned the floors and everything in this office we shampooed the carpets this is the cleanest we shampooed the carpet this has been the this is the cleanest yeah cat really loved you back in 2020 i don't know about 2021 though my office has been since the day i moved in to this house okay it's 100 percent clean from top to bottom <clears throat> okay it's we see more of Jasper Kitty than we do of her. So nice. The car. I'm looking at the carpet. It's white. I haven't seen this color on the carpet in six years. <laughs> the color is white. Who knew? <laughs> Seriously. It, it, you know, it got so dirty, it was gray. Okay. So this is some good shit. I am very excited to actually be in here now and stream with you guys. And I have to worry about everything's dirty and filthy. And I'm going to get sick and shit. All right. Yeah, next year has to be fucking better. I mean, come on. Force, force the charm, they say. No, they don't. 2021. This is well documented. <laughs> well documented for me. We combed through it all. The Burger King. The everything. We even called Sherry's Cafe on the stream. Oh, this is well documented. I mean, I'm sure it can be documented more, but uh, it's well documented. My wife's birthday. We're not doing our normal stuff. It's not like I'm running errands and I'm doing the usual shit that I do on my day off. So shout out to Red Hood. I, I wanted to go back to the birthday lore of Cat. I, and I'm glad you did this video if you're listening out there. This was, this was a banger. And I, I, I appreciate it. I'm actually taking an extra day off for a change, which I almost... I, I hope you don't mind. I, I hope you don't mind that it's just... This was fantastic. Never do. Okay. What do I have planned for Cat's birthday, Orange Cat? Let's just say we have a date planned of fun stuff, but I'm not going to tell you what we're doing because I don't want I want to avoid any kind of harassment. I, I don't get horror games with... Literally putting girlies in, in these little skirts and shit, running, making them running around in this scary shit. It, Resident Evil does it. This game does it. Is it, I mean, I guess it's cute, but it's just, I feel like it would be more, cons they would be more conservative. I guess, they, I mean, whatever. It's eye catching. In, in the age of a lot of reset era games and all that stuff, of them. Uh, trying to shoehorn bullshit into things. It's just, it's it's jarring a little bit. Trolling, so I'm not telling you jack. Maybe this year will be the year of no drama. Yeah. 
How'd it go, DSP? How did it go? In this case, this week, I took an extra day off to celebrate my wife's birthday. Awesome. I day off yesterday to spend with my wife, and I'm going to tell you all about it in a moment. If you can believe it, it did not go so well. Oh, no. Yeah, it actually was quite disappointing. Although, admittedly, by the end of the day, it all worked out. But still, I think you guys are going to enjoy the story that I have to tell you today. Oh, we're going to enjoy this story quite a, quite a lot. Like I said. Here on pre-stream. Well documented. So here's the deal. Yesterday was a day Kat and I specifically planned this day out. Specifically? Okay, now we're being upgraded to on the fly to specifically going out. All right. They're learning. Or as uh, Chief Wiggum would say, uh, Waff Wiggum, they're learning. All right. Let's see what they're learning. To be a day that we would be able to spend the entire day together. The entire day. Appointments. We no appointments. Interrupt what we wanted to do. Wow, they have appointments. She, he doesn't. He didn't mention that in 2018 or whatever. It could be anything, really. We even had uh, reservations at a restaurant for dinner. Reservations. All right. Can't pick this out personally. So everything was planned and well, and we were like, we're gonna have a great day out. All right, cat's finally gonna get that birthday dinner and maybe something else. Let's see. Except for those three bangers of a fucking birthday she had. Yeah, let's go. You know what happens. We all know what happens. I know what happens. But let's go. Okay, we were hoping anyway. So we there is a place that we've been going to eat recently on our days off for Jerry's Cafe. For like breakfast. And it's a really nice place because it's a throwback place to like, I've been telling my wife, it really reminds me of the diners I used to go. It's a real boomer place. I can tell you that a real boomer place of being, you know, a customer service person being a server. It really is. Thank you so very much. So like, good morning. Would you like a cup Can, of coffee? May I, may I get, get you, you some a juice? fresh brewed cup of coffee, a fresh brewed cup of coffee, <laughs> a fresh dokey. cup of decaf. Oh. Smells so good. Now we got to clear a table and clean the table. Decaf. <laughs> it's Sherry's policy to have a table clean within two minutes of a guest leaving. Are you serious? Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> That's a policy for every every restaurant, actually, but they don't really check on that. Shh. I don't think a lot the of servers that clean I've been the into in the past mm -hmm. take the time to do the seats. I really don't. So I appreciate that. The peppers in the back. Salt is in the front, on the right side. This is yes, it's for the right side because of blind people, like super blind man, so you can find the salt. National Deb, I guess there's just a lot of things I don't notice in as a customer. How is it so far? Good, perfect. Cheese is good, perfect. What up? Okay, Deb, follow me. Boomer place. This is acceptable or not? Okay. Hey, you guys have been here for a long time. Oh, 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 oh my God. We're just hanging around. You know, we're regulars. Hey, you know, that is not acceptable. <laughs> you want to let him know what kind of pies we have right now. What kind of extra pies do we have right now, Dan? You know, we have key lime now. I don't like key lime. It's one of our seasonal pumpkin. favorites. We have pumpkin pie. And the rest you can find on that menu. And the rest <laughs> you can find on your menu. What a boomer place. Perfect for a boomer like him. And before people go like, you work in a restaurant, I don't work in a boomer place like this. God, the energy at Texas Roadhouse <laughs> compared to here, it's like, we're crazy. And we're fast. I'm 34. They make, and I feel, I feel exhausted, but that's okay. Hey man, it's better to feel alive than whatever no hate to share it's just, it's just i'm an ihop kind of guy go to when i was a kid mm -hmm. uh, we drive there the entire place is full the entire place was full of boomers all right and there's people waiting outside to get in and we're they were waiting outside to get in and you didn't offer to go because you're an impatient little bastard. You can't even make a fucking exercise bike, but here we go. Like you gotta be kidding me. So we said, we're not gonna do it. Now on a whim, 
We very foolishly did something we should not have done. Very foolishly. It's near us right now that we can just grab any food to put something in our belly. What is near us right now that we could put any food in our bellies? All right, let's go. And then we can drive out to this area where we want to spend the rest of the day shopping and everything. So we look and guess what's the closest thing? I don't know, Dark. What is the closest thing? Burger King. Fucking Burger King. Let's go. <laughs> Said, what the hell? We'll just drive to Burger King and grab something quickly. All right. So. We drive one block to Burger King, all right? As we're at this Burger King, we, we firmly realize this is not the kind of Burger King that normally we would want to go to. I'm not kidding you. As we're waiting in the drive-thru, there are essentially drug users in an alleyway next to Burger King doing drugs, like plainly in view of us. We're staring at them like, that guy's, that guy's shooting up. Yeah, right in front of people at Burger King. People are shooting up, like, oh, this might be a problem. Well, we better just get our food and get the hell out of here, okay? So, we order, fine, okay? And we drive to a safe area. We get the fuck out of there, all right? Seriously, we get the fuck out of there. We drive to somewhere safe, or at least we think it's safe, and we open our food and we, we're gonna eat, okay? So my wife starts eating. Her food seems good. She's like a little dry, but what are you gonna do? It's Burger King, right? So finally, I go down. I go to grab my sandwich. I'm like, what the hell? I pull my hand out of the bag. My hand, all right, mm -hmm. is completely covered in sauce. So what they did, they completely soaked the sandwich in sauce. I I honestly think he gave them a hard time. I honestly think because he's such out of touch with reality that he said all these custom orders and shit and they just got tired. What they do with this chicken sandwich is they wrap it in wax. Here's the thing about fast food that people don't know. A lot of it is just made, it's not made to order. I mean, it is, but it's not, when you customize stuff, it's not that they get confused. It's, it's better to just order what they have so they can just wrap it up and go. If I order a chicken deluxe and it comes with lettuce, tomato, and whatever, like, they know that they can make that. And a custom order is a little harder because they have to, like, customize it and make sure it looks right. Sometimes that can get fucked up. But when we when you work at a sit-down, uh, like a Texas Roadhouse, all, there's, like, thousands of custom orders. So keep that in mind. Tax paper, and then they put it inside of, like, a foil bag. So I, I opened the foil bag, and I just put my hand in to grab the sandwich. And I was like, what the fuck? So I pull it out. I'm not kidding you. The entire wax paper was wet. There wasn't, like, it wasn't dry at all. I'm trying to unwrap the sandwich, and I'm getting increasingly covered in sauce. It was the most sloppy, nasty fucking thing I've seen. So I have- Nasty fucking, oh boy. He ate it. I, I fucking think he ate it. Every time I see this, I go like he also super crazy pointed out the dash here. I pointed out the time here. I don't know what the fuck this is. But does that look like a Corolla to you? Maybe from 2017. That looks like I thought it was a Subaru. I'm not sure. That was the sandwich that they this person literally took a picture of this. I guess that's from an iPhone. It looks like shit. They gave me. What you're seeing right now is what they gave me at Burger King. So I couldn't eat it. I mean, I'm not even kidding you. That what a bougie asshole that you like. I couldn't eat it. Oh my god. Bun is covered in sauce. Like everything I touched, I got sauce on me. I just could. There were, how was I supposed to eat that? So. You're right. I threw it out. I couldn't eat it. I took a picture. I threw it out. And I immediately went to Burger King's website and filed a complaint. Instead of going to actual Burger King and, oh, whatever. You know the drill. You know the drill. He's a moron. He don't like people. He don't like dealing with people. He goes to Fred Meyer. I said, are you out of your mind? You're out of your mind. Yeah.
I, I don't know. Instead of just taking pictures of it like an Instagram star, I don't so fucking anyway. know. So then we leave, and we're off on our day, okay? Vroom, 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 vroom. They're off on their day. Um, the weather was fucking hot. Okay. It's supposed to be. There's air conditioning in the fucking car. It's going to be in the low 70s. Sure wasn't. Full low 70s. 80s, sweating our balls. Full sun. Out here because the car was so goddamn hot. Because it air was conditioning. Hot. It was just like, oh, come on. It figures that our day out we plan for for a cat's birthday ends up being insanely hot and we're so God, you really don't like this woman, do you? Oh, it's too hot, cat, can't go out. Oh, I have an ear convection, can't go out. Oh, whatever. Let's go on. But the good news is we had fun. We did. We went to it. Like I said, we went to a few different stores or whatever. We went to a few areas normally we wouldn't have gone to. Um. So then finally. We're coming at kind of a close to the end of our day. Now I'm starving. Remember, all right, you know what? Screw it. The only thing I've eaten all day long okay. was a small fries from Burger King. A small fries from Burger King. There was an IHOP, a, literally an IHOP, a Red Robin, a Starbucks near this place. Literally, you could have went there you could have just got yourself a fucking omelet is cat literally like that and i don't even think you went out that uh that long i really don't i honestly think you went out for a few hours and that's it i didn't eat anything else all day i didn't eat anything else all day at least cat had had a chicken sandwich i was starving i'm like okay good it's finally time for dinner okay Okay, good. It's finally time for dinner. Oh, he makes this. He, I mean, he went to one store and he spent eight dollars. Like literally, you went to one store and spent eight dollars on that tracker. It's not like you went so many other places. So when you go like, oh, we went shopping, we did this and this and this, and then you went to like Safeway or some shit. It's like you spent eight dollars at Home Depot. You didn't. I thought you would do like Omega shopping, but no, you spent more on WWE champions than you did anything. You think that's shopping? Whatever. So, where did we go for dinner? We had a reservation at a Japanese style restaurant. Cat had actually ahead of time um made this reservation and looked it up and saw the menu and she had picked out kinds of sushi that she wanted to try. Picked like, out the kind of sushi. You need good sushi here. I can't wait to try this new sushi they're gonna have. And also their drinks menu looks pretty good. I couldn't drink because I had to drive home. I couldn't drink because I have to drive home. How many of you fucking believe that this motherfucker is gonna make her drive home? Are you fucked in the head? I couldn't drink. Yeah, we know you like drinking. You like gin. She was gonna have a drink or two while we were there. All right. So we're waiting finally to our reservation. We, we get up to the door. As we're, we walk to the front door, there's a giant sign on the front door. Oh, sorry. No sushi today. A giant sign on the front door that says, sorry, no sushi. Maybe, you know, a lot of things they run out of. I don't think it said, sorry, no sushi. I'm going to probably bet, maybe, maybe it said that. But maybe they didn't have sushi because, uh, you know, shortages and stuff. But. He said because of the, sh the sushi chef. All right, Dark, what happens? What? We open the doors. And what's going on? Oh, well, our sushi chef gets two days off a week. Sundays All right. and Mondays. Sundays and Mondays. I'm like, you didn't say that online. Nowhere on your fucking website does it say that you don't have sushi on Sunday or Monday. We, re we made this reservation over two weeks ago to come here for sushi. Oh, we're sorry about that. Well, do you still want your reservation? No! Fuck off! No! Fuck off! What a, what a bunch of children. No, fuck off. You could have gave Kat a wonderful birthday. You guys sound like picky eaters, if you ask me. Picky, picky, picky. Fuck off. So we left. And Kat was very upset. And yep. 
God over this one thing. God, maybe because we grew up a little poorer than that, we would have just said, we're eating here. You're going to eat this. And him is like, no, Cat was very upset. What are you, four-year-olds? God, keep keep coming. Keep talking, four-year-olds. And I don't blame her. We had done all this stuff planning this special day out for her. The first meal is ruined. And now the second meal is fucking ruined. It's not ruined. You didn't want to wait for fucking Sherry's. I, I think you're sabotaging everything. Everything this is is terrible. She never had a good birthday. No wonder that birthday there because she's nothing went wrong. It's the best birthday we had, Philip. We didn't you you we sat around and watched bullshit. So finally it's like we're at our wits end. And we're like, what are we gonna do? Learn how to compromise. So I said, we're gonna go home really quick. And I drove us home as fast as I possibly could. I broke the speed limit a couple of times. So anyway, we ended up eating at home as if as if it were just a normal day. We, we ended up eating at home like a normal day. How much DoorDash do you spend? We ended up ordering at home and getting delivery and eating at home. It sucked, you know, and it, it, it sucks because we had gone out of our way to plan this special day for her. And try we went out of our way to plan this special day and I fucking wanted sushi and only sushi. I, I tried to do everything possible, you know. She, you know, just so you guys know, because some people ask ridiculous stuff like, oh, did you get her anything? Of course I did. It's actually, I ordered it a bit, a bit ago, and what she's getting for her birthday is coming later this week. None I can do about that. Did we find out what that was? You can put it in the comments. Did we find out what he ordered a few weeks ago? Because I'm pretty sure we have it. That delivery time is delivery time. It is what it is. The day con, I'll be honest, the day was disappointing compared to what we had imagined it was going to be. Um, someone asked if we had a birthday cake. No, actually, last week, Kat had said, instead of a cake, I want a pie. I mean, you did stick the cake in the fucking freezer for a, for a, for a week, so. Upgraded to a pie this year. Birthday pie. Okie dokie. So we ended up getting a big Dutch apple pie. There it is. Claim Juniper Jumper Restaurant. Claim Jumper is another restaurant. Claim Jumper is a restaurant, so that's all I know. Sherry, is it the Sherry's Cafe and Pies? Because I don't think the pie would actually be that much. I think there's another pie, though. But that might be it, though. I'm not, I'm not questioning it. That sounds about right. They actually got a Sherry's Cafe and Pie, the same pie that you fucking go there for, for your little boomer, little breakfasts or whatever you... Oh, my God. I from a really good bakery and she's been actually eating the it might be a from a, another bakery actually but even if you did that's fucked up god you're an asshole pie i had two pieces of it it's amazing fucking pie I, i'm not kidding best apple pie i've ever had and she's been eating pie over the past week to finish it she's been eating pie for the last week to finish it you really do not like your wife like honestly you guys seem fucked so I think there's like a tiny bit left in the fridge, but we've had that to celebrate all kind of week. So. Three bad birthdays in a row for Cat. Yeah. If I say goodbye, make me alive, make me Cat's birthday 2021. Burger King drive through almost killed by drug addicts. <laughs> what are they going to do? Attack the Corolla? I know. So it's like, you already said that. When shopping, sweating our balls off. They only spent eight whole dollars. DoorDash sushi, warm. You damn right it was warm, idiots. Dutch apple pie, $57. Oh my God, they spent more on the fucking pie. Holy shit, $60 for a pie. The one is the best pie. You spent $57 on it. I don't know if it's $57. You probably got like a fucking, you probably got a pancake or something because he's a moron.
pathetic. He really does. <laughs> you damn right. You're welcome, Red Hood. One of the best videos in a while. God. God. You're amazing. I, I, that's all I got to say about that. You're a, you're amazing. That whole thing. That whole thing is amazing. Just. Oh, man. Good times all around. Good times. Good times. Well, that's the video for you from Red Hood. Absolutely give him a subscribe. Guys, he's at 56. Can we at least get him to 100? That was amazing. Good work all around from everyone. Few news things before you do things I have to talk about before I get out of here. Uh, always, because Dark's a moron, you can become a member at any fucking time. There's a join button. If, you, if you're on a PC, you can see it. If you're on an iPhone, you can't see it. It's called Apple. They don't want you to see it. If you're on an Android, it's at the top where it says join. So you can do that. Also, order the new microphone, Blue Yeti, and a stand. So Wednesday, we're going to do a DSP lore stream. And these in these videos will be sounding better. So when we do our next Dark Side Phil stream, everyone's going to be really happy how it sounds. Because I bought me a Blue Yeti. Susie paid me. And like I say, like these streams, they go to upgrading the stream. I'm not done. You guys have been really generous over the past few months with, with Super Chats and everything. Uh, I, like I said, I want to keep upgrading a little bit because, you know, that's going to help uh, with the stream. So a lot of fun things coming up soon. So I want to say thank you for everyone for checking out the FF7 uh streams and supporting that and talking streams are going six hours that's amazing i got a few days off this week so if you guys have any suggestions or anything you want to see uh i'm thinking a lot so with the new microphone coming tomorrow i'm going to spend lunch with my mom tomorrow we're gonna we're gonna get some subs we're gonna get some sacco subs those are good i'm gonna spend some time you know do do it right as they say, you know, we're going to do that. So I'm really excited to spend some time with you with the new microphone and the new setup for the uh, new new stream going forward. So I want to thank all of you for staying with the stream. And, uh, you know, I know this has been a long time and, you know, it just feels like we just begun. But Susie paid me today. So I'm really excited to see what happens. Shout out to Red Hood. Fantastic video. I'm so glad you do these videos. I, I honestly doing the work of this and finding this and putting in a package. I hope you don't mind that. I actually, I, I, I wanted to do this video. So shout out to red hood. You guys get a video because of it. Shout out to everyone out there. Love you all. Remember anything out. Just want to say, I want to say for everyone out there, uh, everyone that comes to the streams, uh, you know, I give a shout out to, uh, alive and well in Israel awesome love the name when i give a shout out to all the members out there you know we're we're a weekend so we're gonna we're gonna put some maintenance on the on the channel get some screw some boots in spend some money get some stuff uh stuff now now we're at the point where i want to hear from you guys i want to hear some stuff if you you know we're gonna we're gonna start getting things together now that that we got we got 23 members, so I'm really happy about that. Uh, I'm really happy where the uh, where the direction of the stream is. Uh, everything is is fantastic. You guys have been fantastic. Uh, some of these streams are are some of the funnest things I've some of the yeah some of the funnest stuff that I've done in a while. The energy's been fucking fantastic, and. It's it's been a real joy to hang out with all of you to talk DSP, uh, all that stuff. It's it's been great. And if you come to the streams, you can talk about whatever you like. We're not we're not gonna gatekeep like some people. We want you to talk. We want you to have conversations. 
we want you to feel like you're welcomed because i feel like sometimes people are like oh i'm not going to talk about it. you know these streams are for you guys you know if we wanted something a little bit i would do a video so hope you guys have a great day sorry this is a little late got some sleep last night i know weird uh i will see you in a little bit and i hope you guys are fantastic and i want to like i said shout out to red hood and everything else uh tomorrow's videos should sound 40 times better with the blue yeti and the microphone so everyone thank you and thanks for watching